You're listening to the Laura London Fitness Show with your host, Laura London. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Laura London Fitness Show. Today, I have a very special guest, my friend, Sean Vig from SeanVeigFitness.com. Sean is the most watch yoga and Pilates guy on the planet. We met a couple of years ago on YouTube and have been friends ever since. So Sean, I just want to welcome you and thank you for being here today. Thank you, Laura. It's always great to talk to you. Awesome. <clears throat> well, so I want to talk about, start talking about kind of your background and how you got started. Were you always in yoga and Pilates or kind of start there, Sean? No, actually, um, <clears throat> funny, I was talking about this with somebody yesterday. I, I, I started, when I went to college, I went to college uh, for theater and music. And uh, I studied in college, and when I graduated, I went out and I performed professionally for many, many years, probably over 10 years. Actually, was, that's what brought me to Florida. Uh, originally, I'd never been to Florida before. I uh, came down to do theater because there's so much professional theater all over Florida. And I, I was very immersed in that. I was very disciplined. I traveled all over doing theater. I trained. I sang opera. Um, and I always loved fitness. I started working out when I was in high school, probably not very well. But in theater, I was always, I was always, we always had free gym memberships mm -hmm. that we would go to. So I would always go to the gym. Friends of mine would come with from the theater company. A lot of times, I started training them also because I had, I had a limited knowledge of fitness. But I, you know, I knew my way around a weight room. This is before I ever did any sort of yoga or Pilates. But it was, I was forced into pretty much taking dance classes because I didn't train as a dancer at all. I was a singer, mm -hmm. actor. We called it park and bark, where you stand and you sing. You know, I, I had heavy feet. I could walk, but I remember an ex-girlfriend of mine criticizing my heavy feet once when I would try to dance or do simple moves. I would thump. I didn't have very good body control. Yes. So when I would uh, go to New York in between shows a lot, my best friend lives in New York, I started taking dance classes. And it was in those dance classes that the instructors started to do uh, do yoga, like yoga warm-ups. And also mm -hmm. we would do core work, which I never really thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, you know, you do big things. You do bench press, you do squats. Right. You like those big movements and you flex in the mirror for a while. Right. Uh, you, you, yeah. don't get past, you don't get very far past that. That's kind of the rite of passage at that age. Yeah. But I started doing those body weight exercises in – in um, addition to the dance, and they went so well together because the more you would do the yoga, the breathing, the focus, the stretching, and the more you would do the Pilates, the core strengthening, the better your dancing would be. You'd have better control over your body. You'd be very precise. Mm -hmm. Your body would respond so well. It'd be much more lean, leaner than like bulky. Right, right. And, and then some of the theater companies I worked at too, we would have dance, you'd have mandatory dance classes, and they would throw in all sorts of these kind of exercises. <clears throat> so long story short, uh, I started taking the classes about 15 years ago, like at a gym in Orlando area, mm -hmm. and I got hooked on them, and I, I eventually got certified and started teaching. Awesome. I, that's great because I think you know, people need to realize that you weren't always into yoga and, and Pilates. And that's not, you know, some of us are here now, but that's not where we started oh. or had ever envisioned ourselves being, mm -hmm. right? Oh, oh, of course. I mean, we've, we've had talks about that. Like, you came from a very different position years ago when I read your book, which is right behind you there. Yeah. <laughs> I have it right over there. I should have it in the background, too. But, no, it's true that, you know, oh, look at that. Where's mine? Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's true. Everybody, you know, you assume they've always done it. That's a really good point because we're so passionate about it. Right. Like, we've done it forever, but there was a time I had no idea what Pilates was. I remember one time doing a show, and one of the other guys in the show was a Pilates instructor. I had no idea what that was, and he used to do a Pilates workout before the show. He would be in the green room on the floor doing the Pilates 100. It looked really yes. strange. I was always open to stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Right. You know, yeah, he's doing that. And looking back, I don't think his form was very good. <laughs> tell me so that. But now I'm like, well, he could have done that better. But, you know, we all, there's some spark or something along the road that really uh, triggers that interest in us. 
And when I first started taking Pilates and yoga classes, I said, and this is dumb, never say never, but I said, oh, I don't want to teach it. I just want to take the class. And then right, with right. like a week, I'm like, I want to lead the class. So how do I do that? So I figured out how to do it and I started teaching. That's awesome. Well, I know you have a lot of different certifications. What are some of the other certifications you have? Oh, uh, I've done a lot. I got to get back on those too. I've done Pio. Pio is interesting. Have yeah. You done... Yeah. I like it. Is that, that was fun. It's like everything we love, really frenetic, you know, yeah. moves pretty fast. The Pilates and the, they do a little cardio in there and the dance, the balance. Um, I've done yoga. I've done Pilates. What else have I? I'm a, a certified too. So, you know, certified as a personal trainer and that, mm -hmm. that branches out. Mm -hmm. But mainly, you know, I, I study every day. I'm always studying different facets of the fitness world, whether it's movement or uh, physiology, kinesiology. Um, that's, I get more out of self-study or observation than I ever would out of certification usually. That's funny. I'm very, very much the same way. I like to see everything that's out there and then trial and experiment with it. Well, yeah, I was watching, you posted something a couple weeks ago, you're doing these these plank, uh, yeah, jumping jack push-ups yeah. and planks, and I was I was watching it, and I'm like, I want to do that, you know, so, <laughs> and then you watch it, and, you, and, you, and then you try it yourself, and you, you figure it out, that's what I love about this business. Yeah, yeah, it took me a long time, too, because when I first started, I couldn't even do one push-up, now I'm like doing psh, explosive <laughs> push-ups, so yeah. people really, really need to understand that if you stick with something you know, you can do amazing, amazing well, the things. Consistency, the yeah, consistency. consistency. And, and to really enjoy it. That's what we, we work hard on that. It's like, enjoy this. This is yeah. fun. Yeah. This is life giving. It makes, gives you so much energy. It's don't, never make it a burden. Yeah. Because your mind will just check out and, and the workout will suffer. For sure. Change the way you think about fitness mm -hmm. and exercising. So, your videos, I know you started out here in Florida. I don't yeah. know how you filmed in Florida because it's so hot all the time but and, and now you're in Colorado and you have these this gorgeous scenery that you're always filming in I'm so jealous oh you should be yeah you should be <laughs> <laughs> everyone should be but everyone could come here and film too if they want <laughs> I saw one where you're like I'm keeping my socks on for this video because I really like my feet and I want to keep them but I suggest if you're working out at home don't have socks on I thought oh, that was course. funny of course. Well, when you're outside, you're you 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 adhere to whatever conditions you're filming in. Like my my uh, desktop desktop photo right now behind you is I was on top of a mountain called Elephant Butte a couple days ago, and I mean all you have up there are rocks or huge rocks. I had my mat with, so at least that gave me a little comfort. I would lay it down and I would film, but you know I cut up my feet a little bit. But I like that. I'm weird that way. I like to be out in the kind of the wild filming because it's it's further proof that you know these workouts take them anywhere do them anytime yeah. you don't have to be where I am of course you could be in your house wherever you are but I want to be out here and I find uh, the comments I get too is people absorb that backdrop they love it it's it gives them extra energy to be outside like that oh, it's, it's like it's like we're with you there that's what I love about it yeah I mean, when, every, when I film everyone's in my dining room with me uh-huh it's like a party <laughs> Yeah. So let's all do it together. We'll all work out yeah. together, and then you'll you'll leave feeling great. Go out and and uh, spread that energy to other people. Yes, for <laughs> sure. So you have a great philosophy. A philosophy is got core. You have it on your shirts. It's. I mean, you say it all the time. <laughs> Tell us, like, why the core is so important when it comes to fitness. Well, the core, that's your abdominals, lower back. In Pilates, they say also your hips and glutes, but think of it as your, your center. Uh, you know, if your core is weak, everything falls. The core is the – I was teaching class yesterday, and while I had them in some probably difficult plank position, I was lecturing them on the core. And I was saying the core is the trunk. The core is the center of your body. Every movement originates in the core, and it passes through the core. And a lot of, I used to do this too. I would just train my abdominals. So you just train the front, right. you neglect the rest, you know, your lower back, your obliques, your glutes, and you actually, your abdominal get too strong and you have an imbalance in your core and that results in discomfort and pain and an inflexible core. So I always talk first going back to the center, to go to the center. Joseph Pilates call it your powerhouse, your mm -hmm. center of strength. So that when your core is strong, when it's functional, when it's flexible, every other movement you do, every movement, 
from big movements to small movements will benefit from that. You'll have such a great connection. That's why I love planks. I always talk about planks. Do planks because it always brings it right back to the center. Oh my, I know planks. They're they're challenging. They really, really are. But I know mentioning planks, a lot of people go ah. <sighs> You know, but but like you said about push-ups, do them. Do them a few times. You're like, this is amazing. I could hold this much longer. And, you know, uh, everything's actually working together now. See, I'd rather do a push-up than a plank. I'm going to have to work on that. I'm going to have to work <laughs> more. Debate, yeah, the whole <laughs> push-up plank debate. Just do a push-up then hold a plank. There you go. Do both. There we go. All right. <laughs> so you have this amazing book, Power Yoga for Athletes, which there I it is. love, love, love. Tell us about this. And why you created Power Yoga for Athletes. That book, there it is right there. Yeah, I'm gonna show it's got I'm gonna show everyone. It's got first it's got like all about your body. It shows you all different um, yoga moves exactly. and what where what portions <laughs> of your body you're working, and then Sean gives you all these different um, sequences to do. It's a, it's an amazing book. Thank you, Lord. Um you notice the photos too were taken in Florida. Yes. You, in the photos of me, you see how much I'm sweating. It was like 90 degrees. The photo shoot was was very good, but it was it was a tough one. It was very hot. It was June in Florida. Oh gosh, this muggy, is... and we were outside. But you would never know that looking at the book with yeah. the, the models because it's the white backdrop. Looks like we're in a studio. Yes, yeah. that book was started something with within myself as far as writing because I never planned to do a book, but it was actually the publisher of that book, Fairwinds Press that contacted me first because they had the idea for the book mm -hmm. and they didn't have an author. So they started doing a bunch of online searches like yoga for athletes, power yoga for athletes. And my name kept popping up and they saw my videos. That's why it's great to, you know, keep marketing yourself because yeah. you never know what's going to come along. And they contacted me about it and we had a great conversation like, sure, I'll do the book. I was a little nervous, but I had to do it, you know, yeah. something, something new. And that book is, I, I like that. I kind of struggled with, you know, how deep do you go with a book? How technical? Right. And I'm like, well, I want to keep it very usable, very on the level because, you know, athletes, they're already moving. You don't have to motivate them to get up. Right. All you have to do is tell them exactly what to do. So if you can spell it out as clear and concise as possible, nice photos, good descriptions, what yep. muscles this works, and also what sports this pose really benefits. Yeah, I love that. I know, and I, that's how I, you know, we do it in our videos. Mm -hmm. It's like, do this, do this, and do that. And I got to add 25 workout flows in there, too, because what, what good, the pose is great, you learn it, but what do you do after that? It's like learning a word in another language, but how do you put it into a sentence? So with the flows, do, 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 you know, all different levels, and then there's training logs. So I, I was very, I'm very proud of that book because it's, it's a perfect be. representation of what I do in this industry. Yeah, you really should be starting to thunder here. Um, uh, you really should be. Guys, if you don't have this, definitely get Sean's book, Power Yoga for Athletes. Where can they get it, Sean? Well, you can get it at Barnes & Noble. If it's out, you can ask them to order more. It's at Books A Million now, I believe. Mm -hmm. It pops up all over the place, and you can always go to Amazon yep. and get it. That's the easiest. Too. Amazon, yeah. Amazon Prime. Boop. <laughs> yeah, me too. Amazon is so great. <laughs> click, click. Boom, it's on your doorstep. That's pretty amazing. We're, we're spoiled. It's very it's, dangerous. Things are good. always arriving at my house with my daughter's name on them via my Amazon Prime. I don't remember what it is. Like, <laughs> what is? Oh, I ordered that. Okay. Yes. That gets scary. Yes. So I know you created some, another type of, you will tell me about it, Pilata. Oh, Pilata. You know, I'm, I'm working on another book right now, a 30-day program, and I'm throwing in some Pilata workouts. Pilata, I, cre I created that in 2009 or 2010 because I've been doing videos now for since June of 2009, so we're celebrating like seven wow. years wow. of sweaty videos. That was in Florida, all just going out whenever. Uh, Pilata was – it was – what – it's a um, – Combination of cardio, Pilates, and power yoga with a nice yoga cool down. So it's like interval training, throwing in the core work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's body weight, mm -hmm. and they're short. The longest they go is about twenty minutes because they're very intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as far as you know, calorie scorching, it's very effective. As far as total body control, core strengthening, flexibility training, mm -hmm. also building lean muscle mass. It, it's, there's a lot of push-ups in there too. A lot of different push-up variations that flow into power yoga and Pilates. So I, I have to, I'm going to reignite that. I've been filming a few of those 
And uh, it's it's fun because I, you know, I always want to create something new with every workout or right. everything I do. You know, you want it to be practical, of course. You just want to create something new for the sake of it, but you want it to be right. challenging and different movement patterns. So Pilata was a great way for me to do that, to throw something of my own in there that I don't I don't see much of that. I don't see interval training that combines Pilates and power yoga. No, I actually have not done one of your Pilata workouts. I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I will let you know. You'll like it. It's time for Pilata. And uh, I filmed one a few months ago out here in the driveway, driveway filming, but you have the nice backdrop, you know, of the mountain, so it's okay. I love it. You just set up anywhere. It's hysterical. I do. I, I, I really, oh, it's intoxicating to me. I really, I, I can't not do it. Like today, I'm probably going to go hiking out with Addie somewhere, and I have some ideas for some videos. And as I'm walking, they'll kind of create themselves in my mind. Head. I have an idea, and then, okay, by the time I get to the spa, I'm, okay, I know what I'm going to film. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Addie, Addie comes with you. She's <laughs> in your videos. Half the time, she's kind of on top of you, attacking you. <laughs> Tell uh, us about Addie. I'm Addy. eating a lot of grass. She eats a lot of grass. I have to stop. I'm like, stop eating the grass. <laughs> Does she like to do yoga? Um, well, you know, she has down dog, but all dogs do that. <laughs> yeah. See when they're impatient and they want to go. Yeah. <clears throat> a fact about Addie is she, Addie hates going for walks. She, not, she doesn't like to walk. Like around the neighborhood, we live in a beautiful neighborhood. There's hills and mountains. It's like a comedy routine. You have to kind of pull her along and coax her because she doesn't like to walk. If she's with like my sister's dog, she walks like a champ. Like we met yesterday and went hiking with my sister and her dogs, and Addie leads the way. On a hiking trail, she's a little better, but sometimes if it's a trail she's been on before, she doesn't even want to get out of the car. She's, she's like, yeah, I've been there, done that. She's like a cat. That's funny. You know, but, but once we, you know, we get, like today I'm looking, and picture, we have this huge meadow at this trail I think we'll film at. So it's nice, she can just wander around, she lays in the grass or in the shade while I, while daddy does his work, you know, I'm filming and running around for like an hour, she just lays in the shade with her bowl of water, and she's very happy. No, it's but it's really nice to have her with. Oh yeah, and I'm very fortunate that I, you know, can put her in these videos. And I say this, it's true. I, I think I get more emails about Addie than about my workout <laughs> and such. They're like, oh, Addie. Or people send photos of their their pets. You know. Yes. I know the first video I ever made was this ad video, and my white cat walks through the background, <laughs> and I would get so many comments on the, just the cat walking through. Mm. So funny. So yeah, animals. Because they don't care. Yeah, you know, we're all serious, and they whatever. They they don't they don't think that way. They're yeah, like, they're just doing oh. their thing. Like and they just stare, is. or yeah. they jump around for you know. We say for no reason, but they probably have a very good reason for doing it. Addie will just come out of nowhere and jump on me. I, <laughs> and it surprises me so much because she's a minute ago she was sound asleep in the shade. All of a sudden she jumps on me. So. <laughs> Funny. They know when you hit record. Sometimes all oh, of a sudden they it's do. Right over. <laughs> Mine used to cry. They'd be like. Mm. They wanted, uh -huh. Katie would love to be in the videos. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sometimes I see your dad. I've seen a picture yeah. of him sleeping. He's, he's close by <laughs> that he can help you out. <laughs> My dad will do anything in a video. He's great. I think he regrets when he was younger not being in theater and doing stuff like that. But now it's great because when I did theater, he could join in in that. And also when I do these videos, he can join in. We're actually planning a book with him about stretches for seniors because he, he just it. turned 82 He's in very good shape. Wow, fabulous. And he, he, yeah, he stretches every day. I, I mean, he slacks sometimes like everybody, but I give him stretches to do. When I lived in Florida, he would come to some of my Pilates classes also. Oh, that's so nice. That's really, really nice. It was. I, he, you know, w once I moved out of Florida, too, we had a chat a few weeks ago, and I realized he really misses that. I mean, he comes to Colorado. He loves it mm -hmm. here. But mm -hmm. in Florida, they had a, a condo, and they would stay for months. Right. And... You know, the camaraderie of those classes are always so fun, too. You, you all work out together and you meet all these people, a lot, yeah. a lot of really fun people. You have coffee afterwards. Like a family. Yeah, it's sure. like those exercise together, stay together, I guess. For sure. <laughs> but now, no, he's a good sport, and he'll be out here hopefully in a, one or two weeks, and uh, we'll put him in the, hey, he'll do anything. He'll do it's a like, guest appearance. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you want me to just run around in the background? Okay. <laughs> and Addie are like wrestling in the background. That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Well, you and I did a two, I think, two collaborations. Um, 
gosh, a couple of years did ago. We did, I know we did uh, the cardio core we for sure. We talked core. about doing another one. Did we, we have to only do, do one? I can't, I can't remember. Oh, okay. We did cardio core, <laughs> uh-huh. which is a very good workout, very popular. Mm-hmm. And I love the way we kind of planned it out and you filmed your portions. I filled my portions and then we put them together. Yeah. So it's really cool being able to do that with other YouTubers. And I know you've, you've done a lot of collaborations out there. So that's really a good thing to do. And YouTube is amazing because you really can reach such a big audience. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's crazy. It's, um, I always refer to it as like a, um, a really good stock. Like you buy a stock, a dividend producing stock that while yes. you sleep, while you eat, whatever you do, yes. it's always grinding away. Yep. Um, with views and comments and re- you know, reaching more and more people going in the search engines. Yeah. And it's, I think, it's pretty much the nucleus of my brand. Without YouTube, I mean, it'd be so difficult to reach all those people. Yeah. It's, a, it's a wonderful platform to put something on there, let it go. It's always a little stressful. I mean, I've put thousands of videos. Out. It's still always when you release one. I don't know. Do you go through that? It's oh, always, yeah. You know, when you're getting it all set up with the tags, it's always like, ah. There's a, and then once it's out there, you, 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 you let it go. But there's always that moment of like, ah, you know putting it out there it's like your baby yeah i remember in the beginning like someone said oh you should just you know make a video and put it out there i'm like i don't even understand i made a video i felt like i threw it out to the universe uh-huh. and i'm like people watched it how do they even know it's there i mean i know it's- isn't that how it suddenly and then you'll get a comment like i don't know who this person is because yeah, you're yeah. i was used to i just talk classes so you know everybody that right. you're working with and it's it's an interesting sensation at first when people you don't know are commenting. Luckily, you know, they're saying nice things. Hopefully, I think they should get oh, uh, away with the down thumb button. I don't think anyone should give anyone. No a one down likes thumb. the down thumb button when you're <laughs> your creator. But yeah. someone told me that you know the down votes actually act the same as the up votes as far as pushing the video up. That's but, funny. Yeah, I mean, there's always going to be down votes. I've had long discussions with other fitness YouTube people about that and. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I always, I always get some. It doesn't really bug me. But the first one, you have to get the first one out of the way. Yeah. You first start putting video out, and you get a down vote. You're like, ah, oh, damn. It's what? that first rejection. Then you then you move on. Then you're like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's all good. <laughs> they, I always say, love myself, not hurting anyone. It's all good. So put no. your head down at night on your pillow. And you have no idea who the person is. No. At first, you're like, oh, I wonder, I bet I know who this is. Like, you don't know who it is. <laughs> No Somebody may, you know, uh, and everyone has their own reasons for upvoting or downvoting that we can't even comprehend, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't like his shirt. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I made a video yesterday. It was just a, it was just a whole blooper reel. It will never, <laughs> ever come it? to YouTube. It was really bad. <laughs> but, are you going to post it? Oh gosh, no. I think, well, it, it probably would get a lot of likes because I had things popping out and falling out, but it was not good. It was not good. <laughs> just put blooper in the title. People yeah. love that. Yeah. I, I've made a couple of those with Addie. Just every time Addie would just like attack me while I was filming, those are always popular. They a little are. behind the scenes. That's because people want to see what really, really happened. So, Sean, I know you have got more books in the works. Tell us what's coming up. Oh, wait, your, your fitness app. What's coming up for you in the next year and where everyone can find you on the internet? All right, well, yeah, I got the, actually, I'm doing an update for the fit. I'll just do this with my finger. Do an update for my fitness <laughs> app right now. Uh, the fitness app came out a little over a year ago. That's right. We have similar because you have a – I really like yours too. It's a, it, mine's, mine's video-based, yeah. you know, all videos and programs and stuff. Anything of mine, you can always go to seanveegfitness.com to get. And the app I update about once a month. I'm adding some new videos to it. And I have three books in the works right now. <laughs> Laura, this is the summer, and I've been saying this in my video. You ever watch Seinfeld? Yes. You know, the summer of George? Yes. He talks about that. This is, I call this the summer of reading, studying, and writing. Wow. Like, I have, I've checked out so many extra books from the library, health and fitness, and everything, because I love to read. I'm like, well, it's the summer. I'm going to take a lot more time to read. I'm going to write a lot more, hone my writing skills, and also studying, you know, studying the craft, studying other, you know, other YouTube fitness people studying, you know, getting it all in the brain so I can mm-hmm. offer the best possible product and always keep it fresh and new and challenging. 
So, that. you know, those that's what I'm working on. I'm very in the moment kind of guy. I don't think too far ahead. If I'm really passionate and inspired right now, that does it for me. I'm I'm very happy about that. That's you can, that's you can what only I, do so much. Yeah, exactly. And that you know, part of that philosophy is that I was I was uh doing a little too much for a while. The angst was I used to feed off the angst and mm-hmm. after a while I was like, I just don't like that feeling after all. It's hard you know, running your own brand, it's it's you. You yeah. can't have the brand without you. You can't have you without the brand. Yeah. A lot. It's not like you're working for a third party. So you have to learn on your own how to balance that out. Yeah. I used to, you know, in the past, I used to lay awake at night thinking about things and ideas and you're excited, but at what cost? It just overruns your whole life. So I've really done well at balancing that out. Yeah, I remember we had a long conversation about that about a year ago because I was having some just like, do I continue? Do I stop? You know, so yeah, sometimes sometimes we just need to take a break or reevaluate and regroup and we come back even stronger. It's very true. You know? And people don't see that a lot because when we're filming, it's it's very exciting, but it's 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 a 24-7 job if you want it to be. It yeah. can overwhelm you. And there's so many options that can drive you nuts sometimes. There's so many options of things to do in this business. And I go through that too sometimes. You know, I just like, uh, and when that happens, then I I turn it off and I go do something else. Mm -hmm. You know, go work outside, go read a book, go for a walk, just do something else. You know, get it off your mind, let it go. And it actually feels great. Then you come back recharged. Yeah. In theory, that sounds like duh, but you have to learn (laughs) for yourself. Because I remember we had that conversation. I'm like, Laura, I know exactly what you're, you know, what you're feeling. Because 24 hours a day, there's going to be times where you're just, God, I don't know what to do. I'm, should I do something else? Maybe I'll do something else. Yeah, I've thought about that a lot too. Just, I, I always say maybe I should just go back to being just mom, just mom, uh-huh. you know. And then I'm like, well, I am mom, but I love to do all these other things. Yeah. Too, you can do both. So. Can do just both. the right frame of mind, you can do you can do all of it and yeah. balance balance it out because we always talk about that. Yeah. Fit, fitness wise, mentally wise, you balance it out. So, yeah. but you know, it it happens to everybody. It's a uh, it sure it's does. Amazing, but when the inspiration isn't there, sometimes it hurts. Yes. It, can, it it hits you right in the stomach. Yeah, yeah it does for sure. Wow. Huh? All right, Sean. <laughs> so we got Laura. your app. We got your book. Your website. I remember I have uh, eight books out. I have that one paperback and I have seven ebooks also. Those are all at SeanVeagFitness.com. Yes. So everyone uh, visit Sean at SeanVeagFitness.com. And I want to thank you for being on the Laura London Fitness Show today, Sean. Uh, thank you very much. Very excited. And I up a half hour ago. Now I'm wide awake. <laughs> This is great. Yeah, we're in different time zones. I was very excited to chat with you because we chat and we'll just talk for hours. I was looking at our old Skype yes. like calls. I'm like, oh, an hour and a half? Wow. I know. I know. It's <laughs> well, I'm going to keep this one short. We're at about 27 minutes now, which I think okay. is perfect for our viewers. So I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. My and pleasure. sharing all your great information, knowledge, and just for being you. Oh, uh, I appreciate that, Laura. Great to, great to talk with you always. And uh, check out SeanVeekFitness.com and let's t- do another collaboration. We'll do For that. sure. All right, everyone. Thanks. Have a great Bye. day. Bye-bye. Bye.